I think the performance are excellent. It's something completely different. Uh, what is your name, sir? Hi, or howdy, I should say. What's your name? Where you from, Harold? What brought you here to uh, the Big Apple? Theater. Theater. I did a lot of theater. And I started writing my own music, and, and uh, I've been having more success with that lately. And uh, I find that I like being in control of, of what I create and, and what goes on. Because with theater, you've got a director, and you've got a producer and you've got everybody that's putting their ideas into what you're doing and with my own stuff at least for now you know until we get picked up by a label or something uh, I'll be here when things slow back down. That, that's a big difference between here and, and theater it, is that the main reason why you switch the uh, the independent aspect of it all just to be able to uh, be your own boss I mean that's that's a big part of it I I do I do well enough here in the subway that I don't have to have another job. So I believe so. You're, you're very talented. Absolutely. I play about three hours a day, but if the money's not there, you know, I can go home and take a rest and come back out and try and make money. And I'll never ask you for much. Just make me one little promise. Give me one last time. Tell you goodbye. It's never easy. Is this your main spot, or do you be oh, other, other no. places? No. I try not to hit the same spot more than twice a week. Really? This is, a, this is a good spot for me because people from Long Island love country music and, and there's a lot of Long Island people that come through here. Um, but That's I've very smart. i playing the west side. I used to play on the east side a lot. I play 53rd and uh, 53rd in Lexington. I play Union Square. I play Grand Central. I play, uh, I'll play anywhere, you know. What, what's your favorite uh, place to play? What's your favorite this spot? spot? This spot I seem to, to do the best consistently at. Um, even on a Monday or Tuesday, I do really well here. It's a lot of traffic so, here, dude. There is a lot of traffic, and it, and it's I got a nice long hallway. I do better with with places where people 
that are walking up have a chance to listen to Go this. ahead, go ahead and say it, man. You do better with Caucasians. No, no. I actually do a lot of business with uh, people from Puerto Rico. Uh, a lot of African Americans have bought a CD. It's funny, like I sell more CDs to people than Cowboy hat and and the shirt. I noticed the whole uh, ensemble. There seems to be uh, one thing out of place, and and that's the uh, instead of uh, cowboy boots, I see New Balances. What 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 made you uh, switch 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 up on the feet? A lot of times when I leave the house in the morning, I don't get back until the evening because I got a couple other like, things <laughs> like I have to teach a lesson tonight. I just can't do cowboy boots for 12 hours a day here in the city on the concrete. It's just too much. The comfort so, factor, right? Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's the most important thing. Yeah, you're on your feet for a long time. So After this, what do you teach? I, have, I teach guitar lessons privately. Guitar lessons, voice lessons, a lot of stuff. So you have a, a lot of things going hey, on, Harry. You're in New York. You get about on the streets, and uh, I'm sure you move about on the train and, and above ground and stuff like that. You see, you've seen other street performers, I'm sure. Yes. What is your impression of them? other street performers do you feel some type of connection to them do you feel for them there's a general respect among street performers usually it's first come first serve but if you're with the muni like i am we have spots booked every week so uh if somebody's in your spot you ask them politely to leave there's a lot of great musicians a lot of just fantastic musicians that are playing the subways just because they'd rather do that than get a day job and um you know uh speaking of that are are you uh, I, I, I noticed your sign down there. You're, are you a part of some type of uh, street performers organization yeah, or union or something like that? It's not a union. We don't get paid for it, but it's sanctioned by the MTA. It's Musicians Under New York. If you go to the MTA website, you can find the Musicians Under New York section. We audition. They pick a certain number of people every year to join the program. And the only thing that we get is specific spots that we are guaranteed every year. And, and basically a pass from the Port Authority police that you're allowed to play here, right. correct? Uh, a common misconception, and, and sometimes the, the cops don't even know, you're allowed to play. Um, it's just that most people think you have to have a permit. Sure. You don't have to have a permit. Right. right. This spot and a bunch of spots like it are sanctioned by the MTA, so if somebody has a permit, they get preference over this spot. Um, but you can set up and play anywhere. There's a list of those things, too, on the... There's a couple of different websites where you can, they give you the rules for performing. Because it's a public space, you're supposed to be yeah. allowed to. Yeah, it's a free but country still. If a cop asks you to leave, the cop asks you to leave. You know, right. Whether they're right or whether they're wrong, they're the ones that can give you a ticket, and then you got to fight it, and then there's a whole bunch of bullshit involved. So. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what, are, what is the first impression? What's the first thing... Uh, what's people's first reaction when they see you performing down here the, on, on their faces? What do you what do you notice people's reactions when they see you? Uh, I think a lot of people are surprised that there's country music, and I that's I get a lot of that from people who come up and say, "Hey, it's great to hear country music down here." Because there's not a lot of there's a lot of what people call country music here in New York, and there's not a lot of people doing what I'm doing. It's just mainstream country songwriting, pop country. There's a lot of people in Brooklyn doing country, but it's more of a an urban country. A, Alternate country. Um, do you like that sort of stuff, or are you? Anything like you know, I'm all for people making their own way, um, doing their own thing, and, and making new music, which is great. Uh, but I think 
that uh, my stuff fits in uh, to a wider audience. So wh where can people reach you? Where can people go if they want to get in contact with you? They can find me on uh, www.heraldallenmusic.com. They can find me on Facebook under Harold Allen, Twitter under Harold Allen. Uh, basically just Google search Harold Allen. They should be able to find me. Okay. Cool. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Sometimes.